Then we get into a little more complicated ones. Same thing, since I'm working with whole numbers, technically that whole number would be written over 1. And on these ones, they're going to make it again where this number is going to divide into this number. Sometimes you can't do that, but on these ones, they made them that way. So first thing I'm going to do is reduce my fraction. 4 divides into 24 six times, right? And then I'm going to multiply my numerators. 3 times 6 gives me... 18. I get 18 over 1, so I just leave it as 18, because 18 divided by 1 is still 18. So 2 sevenths of 35. 7 divides into 35. Everybody all at one time? 5. <laughs> and then I can multiply. 2 times 5? 10. Pondering that, huh? <laughs> right. Where are you coming up with that 10? Oh, two okay. here the two times the five, five here, because now we have a number on top of that fraction. Before we just had a one up there, right? So one times whatever didn't make any difference, but now we have a different numerator. Here we had to take the three times the six. Here we take the 2 times the 5. So now try that one. Hopefully you came up with 35. Because 6 went into 42 seven times, and then we have 5 times 7, 35, right? Now, of course, again, I did talk about using your calculator, but it works the same way as when you do adding. If I want to do, do 5, 6 times 42, I would do 5 fraction 6 times 42, and I'd hit equals, and my calculator tells me 35. So I want you to do them on your paper, and if you're not comfortable and you think, I don't know if I did that right, punch it into your calculator and check to see if you did it right. If you didn't, then try to figure out why you didn't get the right answer. Did you divide wrong? 